Good morning, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we're gonna work on our garlic onion patch. So our field is not ready yet. So we need to plant it here in the yard, which is okay for now. And uh, the other place we don't wanna plant anything now because we wanna give it all to the goats. So we're gonna plant it here. This is really nice dirt here because nothing's been planted here. So the dirt is really black. So it's gonna be really nice growing. So yeah, let's get started by smooshing up the ground with a little tiller. not days, weeks later. There was a lot of things going around and the weather was not the best. We had, I think, nearly a month of constant rain and floods. So yeah, we couldn't plant anything. We had it all smushed. We wanted it to dry up a bit, but it kept raining and raining and snowing again. But now I think we are ready to plant. We have one or two more days of frost because those were supposed to be autumn onions or garlics that you plant in October, November, but also our autumn. We got just a very fast frost and the ground got very frozen and then snow. So we didn't really have the time to do it and the weather. So yeah, here we are now, April. We are gonna try, we'll see what succeeds. And uh, yeah, let's get started by making the lines and planting everything in. And then we're gonna go inside and plant some tomato seeds and cabbage and peppers, I think. We're gonna see what we're gonna plant inside, but let's get started over here. What are you eating, mouses? Are you tired? She walked a lot. Who wants to go inside and sleep? Egg, I think. Okay, a lot of going on. So now we're inside and we're gonna start planting the things that need to be planted earlier than some other things. 
If you haven't seen the video, we gave you a full tour of all our seeds. So let's get the seeds out that we want to use. I already remember kind of where is what. What we need, I think, is definitely some tomatoes. We're going to get paprikas, cabbage, broccoli and cauliflower. So let's find them, get them out and get started planting. So here we have all the things that need to be pre-planted a bit earlier than other things. This is not the only things that we'll be planting. We also have carrots, beetroots and radishes that go straight away out. Then we have also pumpkins, zucchinis and uh, cucumbers. They also need to be pre-planted a bit later. But those take a bit longer to grow so that's why we're starting with these ones. You can see we have tomatoes, broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, two different colors of cabbage, celery, celery root, cayenne peppers, three different colors of actual peppers and then we have some herbs, we have basil, rosemary, some salad, salad you can also plant straight away on the field but I will pre-plant some so we have some a bit earlier and same thing with persil, we have two different types also you can plant them a bit later outside but I think pre-planting them and then taking them out we'll see, we're also gonna plant some more on the field but uh, yeah one last thing before we get started, I want to talk about the tomatoes. As you can see, we have five different types of tomatoes. I'm not going to be planting the whole pack, just like a bit. I just want to try out each tomato. But these ones we want to plant a lot because those say they're resistant to stress. So we want to try to butt craft them on a potato plant. We saw a video where you can plant the tomato on top of the potato. So pretty much you take the potato plant off and you put the tomato and they still produce potatoes on, on the bottom and tomatoes on the top. So we want to try this out. That's why we want to plant a bit more of these ones. And uh, yeah, let's get started planting all the things and uh, hopefully they'll succeed. planting everything <laughs> hopefully everything succeeds but we did plant a lot of cayenne peppers in this full tray because they say that it's very good for chickens it does deworming and something other things that I don't remember currently but it's very good for them and we also planted a lot of paprikas because we want to dry them and make them into paprika powder and a lot of tomatoes because we like tomato sauce but yeah, that's pretty much it. Our babies are growing. They're all perfectly fine. At the start of the video, we didn't have them. That's why we didn't show them. So yeah, my little private part. Sadly, they're not going to stay that size. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. We're going to keep you updated, of course, like every year. Hopefully this year is going to be much better. So fingers crossed, holding our thumbs. And uh, yeah, hopefully it all succeeds. I'm going to have a very nice harvest so you can get some of our foodie. So I hope you enjoyed and I'm going to see you in the next one. Don't poop on me. Let's go sleepy TV. This is for you, this is chili peppers. Yeah? Don't go in the don't go in the dirt. Chip, 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 chip. <laughs> this is my basil.